Hi friends, welcome to Photoshop tutorial by JD Digital Gallery. How to edit video using Photoshop. In the first one, we discussed what is Photoshop, its quick history, where to get it, and how to make a happy birthday poster in it. In the second one, we were telling how to make your photo more beautiful and the color correction in photos. In the third lesson, it was sky replacement and the tools used for it. Now in the fourth tutorial, we are making you know how to edit a video in Photoshop and how to get the final output from that. For this, we have to select a suitable workspace in Photoshop. How we can set suitable frame rate like NTSC, PAL or film, how we can add transitions, music, titles, etc. And how to get the final output. Let's open Photoshop. This is Photoshop CC 2014. It's the latest version. In this, we have to select window workspace and motion now our workspace is ready for video editing the lower panel is called timeline now click on the button and import the video which is to be edited press ctrl and click on necessary video to select and import The video is now imported and now press spacebar to play it. Again pressing the spacebar will stop that play. We can use mouse to move forward and backward in the timeline. Now we have to set the frame rate. For this we have to click the button on the right top corner of the timeline and select set timeline frame rate to give suitable frame rate i am using the 25 fps pal format so i am not changing right now now we have to see how a video is to be divided First play the video and then find out the unwanted portion to be divided. Then click on symbol of scissors and divide the part and using delete key delete the unwanted portion. For dividing and deleting the video clips are to be selected. When HD video clips are to be edited playback need not be real time. When the final output comes the real time will be there. Now we have to add transitions. Transition means the change from one video clip to another. To add transition, click on the button shown here and select the transition and drag and drop to add it. I have here used crossfade. Here we can see how nicely one video clip is mixed with another. Once again we can add the same transition. There are more options for the video. We can use opacity and other control from here. Now I am adding fade with black transition in the starting and ending of the video clips. We can add music now. Before this, we can right click on the video clip and select the music symbol. Then click mute audio. 
to mute it. Click outside to apply it. Do the same for all the clips. Then click on the music symbol in the audio track and select music file and open it to get the music in the music track. We can remove the silence in the beginning of that music track by dividing it and deleting that portion. It is to be a background music. So we can reduce the volume. For that, I click on the audio and reduce the volume. I am giving 30%. We can give fade in and fade out also. I am giving 4 seconds. This will give a nice fade in fade out for the whole video edited. Now we can add title. For this we need another video track. We have to click here and select new video group. From the layers panel click on the create new layer button and create new layer. Then click T, the type tool, to type it. To get the title in second line, press enter. Select move tool. Press ctrl A and with the help of align buttons, we can align this title to the center. We can add transition fade to the title layer. To zoom the timeline, drag on this icon. We can play now. Fade with black transition can be added to the starting and end video clips. Now double click on JD Media Vision Presents layer from the layers panel and layer style can be seen. From this we can add drop shadow and stroke to the title. Our title is more beautiful now. Right click on the same layer and select duplicate layer and we can make another title. We can also drag with mouse and adjust the position in timeline. In the layer panel, double click on T and type the second title. We will get the text selected and type the second title. By using timeline slider, go to end part and we can add the third title also. Type thanks on duplicate layer and place it to the end part. Now we have created a nice video presentation and we have to export this for final output. For this, select export from file menu and select render video. In the format side, we can see dpx, h.264 and took time. dpx is mainly used for movies for high quality output. H.264 is the mp4 version which is most commonly used. I am using that format right now. I am selecting the YouTube HD 720p PAL format that is 25 fps. Give a name and click render. It will take some time.
When it is completed, we can play it. This is not playing nicely now. It is a screen capture issue. Sorry for that. It actually plays nice. You can check out by the link shown here. Now we have created a nice video presentation edited in Photoshop. This is our YouTube channel JD Digital Gallery. You can check out more lessons here. Please click like that will always motivate us. Please do subscribe for upcoming lessons. Thank you.